most of the time we fail to follow the schedule or timetable prepared by us because we prepare permanent timetable permanent timetable for every day every week every month for whole year that is the problem we don't know what is going to happen in the next week how can we prepare a permanent schedule it is very important to prepare timetable or schedule on daily basis so divide your targets first of all your main target that is two year target is what to get a good rank in jee exam to get a good rank in jee exam in your diary you can write a rank also you may have uh, an expectation so you can write that now you can divide that goal goal is actually you have to cover 11th and 12th syllabus then divide this two year goal into six months goal then six monthly goals should be divided into monthly goals monthly goals should be divided into weekly goals and weekly goals should be divided into daily goals so basically the this daily goal this you have to prepare every day i'll tell you how on sunday night on sunday night you prepare your daily schedule for monday for example on sunday night you write schedule for monday like this uh you write like if 7 am to 2 pm you have school you write that and let me tell you whatever you want to do on monday like you want to play you want to go to watch a movie you write everything whatever you want to do on monday okay so uh 7 to 2 school now uh, by 2:30 if you come back then i will write 2:30 to 3:30 2:30 to 3:30 you take rest you take rest you can have lunch now from 3:30 from 3:30 to 4:30 you do the school homework school homework so that you do not face any problem in the school okay now after this from 4:30 to 5:30 you can uh, write here like uh, one hour study of chemistry and chemistry je chemistry for j and you write what you are going to do in this one hour for example 10 problems 10 problems from p bahadur numerical chemistry p bahadur and you write the chapter name also like chemical equilibrium okay now from 5:30 to 6:30 you can go to play or you can take rest whatever you want to do do in this time now after this uh, for example 7 to 9 7 to 9 you have tuition you write tuition time 7 to 9 tuition and by 9:30 you come back and then you can say 9:30 to 10 you can say dinner 
dinner okay now from from uh, 10 to 11 you write one hour study of physics j e e and in that also you write what you are going to do for example you write 10 problems 10 problems from h c verma let us say gravitation okay now from 11 to 12 11 to 12 you write one hour study of mathematics for j e e and you write there 10 problems of permutation and combination so this way you prepare the schedule or time table of monday on sunday night then on monday try to follow this schedule try to follow this schedule but on monday night on monday night you do the analysis of the work which you have done on monday night if you have uh, gone to school put a tick mark you have taken the rest put a tick mark you have uh, done the school work put a tick mark you have uh, studied chemistry you put a tick mark you did this tick mark and because of some reason you did not do this you failed to do this then put cross so after analysis you have realized that there are two cross marks now after doing the analysis you prepare time table or schedule for tuesday monday night you prepare schedule for tuesday and again you follow that on tuesday same you do the analysis on tuesday night then again tuesday night you prepare schedule for wednesday you have to do this till saturday on saturday night on saturday night when you are planning to prepare schedule for sunday time table for sunday that time table will not be the regular time table what you have prepared for the whole week that will be a special time table because sunday you don't have school you will be have more time to study and second thing you analyze the whole week time table you will find many crosses you will find many tick marks on saturday night you prepare schedule for the crosses whole week you will be having many cross marks since you did not uh, study this you did not study this you write for sunday schedule sunday time table and try to follow that on sunday this way what will happen whatever you have decided for that week your weekly target will be completed got the idea so daily time table daily assessment and then saturday night the assessment of the whole week and sunday you have to complete whatever you have not done in the week okay and this is the weekly assessment now you have to do same manner the monthly assessment you have to do your six monthly assessment if you find that crosses are more try to minimize that got the idea believe me daily time table is much better than permanent time table daily time table will help you in studying on a regular basis okay